Now, we're going to continue with the practical application of um, this teaching from the Shof team from our 48th uh, Torah portion, which in the overflow brought us to Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, and here's where we were before we had to do a little reset up um, because we was, we was recording for some time and just had to reset up some of the technical technical aspects. So we hope that this goes through. Even though sometimes we've had um, certain teachings that um, we've had to re-record, so you know that is that is between I guess I and I and the Father. Um, but hopefully this this will continue to record as we're going to continue with Jehoshaphat right here. Abe to Ante Barukne, Amen. Ante Ata Baruk Ata. Adonai, Adonai. So here we was at the fact that in Joel 3 and 2 and 12, it mentions the valley of Jehoshaphat, that is, Jehovah judges. Now, this valley of Jehoshaphat was a place, was a place, or we, we like to say even metaphysically and spiritually speaking, it's a state. It's a, it's a state. It's a, a certain state of yeah. A valley is a low place. A valley is technically called a depression, a, a depression. So, if you put it together, that valley of Jehoshaphat may not be just that that geographical location or, or or region that we may call Jehoshaphat in the state of Israel today, or the place that they'll say we found the valley of Jehoshaphat and it's right here. It might be that. It might not be that. But be that as it may, studying from the metaphysical perspective, since these words, key words, you understand, metaphysically, according to the mystery of God in Christ, we're beginning to understand that these also relate spirit to a spiritual world and a spiritual universe, and they have their reflections, you understand, in this temporal world as well. So in Jehoshaphat, we say that it's a valley, Right, it's a place where all nations were to be gathered for judgment, according to Joel, th chapter three, verses two and twelve. Now, metaphysically, the meta, the above and the beyond, the physical, in other words, the spiritual aspect of this Jehoshaphat is the development. So, the key word that, if one's on taking notes, study notes, and journaling certain of the studies, which the disciples would be in this, and should be, that's that's required basically. But be that as it may, one is free to do as they like. Hopefully they'll do what's right. Um, the word development is a key word. The word development is a, is, a, is a key word connected with Jehoshaphat. It's a development in consciousness of the divine, the divine, the Melukotawi Hasab, the Melukotawi Asab, the divine thought, the divine thought of third, the divine thought of fitth, of fitth of what you call ancient Egypt, Pata, which we know is connected with the fatherhood of God. And this now helps to explain some of the cryptic um, 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 prophetic verses and ideas. Now, Yahweh, or Jehovah, is the I Am. And this gives forth its idea of judgment, which is incorporated or made one to Wahido in man's consciousness or his spiritual heart, his heart and his mind, and it's called Jehoshaphat, or e e yo shaft yo shaft yo shaft Jehoshaphat. Now, communication between Yahweh is established when man. In other words, many have even asked and wonder, well, how do I know I'm not I, I'm communicating? And I just talk to myself, how do I know why I'm communicating with Yahweh? Well, communication with Yahweh is established when man by dwelling in thought, by dwelling in that spiritual state that's within us, that's graspable by us, even in this physical body, is by dwelling in thought upon divine ideas, melakotawi hasaboch, melakotawi divine ideas. You understand? Know not, not, not secular, the seclorum ideas, but divine ideas, and harmonizes. Now, the harmonizing of his thought realm with divine mind. So even in the sabbatical where it says to uh, remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy, to remember that remembrance 
It's a spiritual thing, the remembrance. So we are dwelling, we are creating even new grooves in our heart and our mind, and also we're creating an atmosphere within us that radiates outside of us and like attract like. You understand one understand that now like attracts like, and this is the seed of the community, you understand, of the face that we all seek, even as Rastafari. This is the seed. This is this is the seed is the word. Now, divine judgment can be established in every function of our organism, every function of this carbonic structure that we call the body. You understand, and connected with even melanin, if you please. By our commanding, by our commanding, in other words, divine judgment can be established in every function of our body or our organism by our commanding that the various thought centers, spiritually speaking, the thought centers in us are cities, metaphysically speaking, when we look at the Bible. So the thought centers are cities shall have a perpetual presiding thought of good judgment, that each thought center, each city, you understand, in us shall have a perpetual presiding thought, the presiding or the ruling, the risa behir, you understand, of each of these cities, the various thought centers must have this presiding thought of good judgment, of good judgment, of tov, of the tov shafet, you understand, the, the tov, the tovia shafet, or the tov shafet, right? Now, this is the way to, according to Second Chronicles 17 and 2, this is the way to set garrisons, to set garrisons in the land. The land is a spiritual consciousness, to set garrisons there. You understand? Um, 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 post and, 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 and military, on the spiritual, on, on the church militants, garrisons in the land. Now, false judgment thoughts. Let's deal with these false judgment thoughts. False judgment thoughts often infest the various centers through which the bodily functions are carried on. In other words, when one has false judgment about themselves, or about others, you understand, and this world is full of it. In fact, this is what's sickening the people. This is where the people are being sickened by this, by this seclorum, by this world system, you understand, is because in the media, you understand, and through the media, the media does what? It puts out thoughts. The Internet is about what? The Internet is about thoughts, you see? So now these thoughts now pushing false judgment thoughts out there, there's an infestation. You understand? And the various centers through which bodily functions are carried on become infested. You understand? And then this now metastasizes, and when it comes into lower vibration, you understand? Lower rotations of vibration, usually probably rotating backwards, you understand? It basically diseases and sickens people. You understand? Because we're in this, 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 this one is a different health. People say go out to the country sometimes and get away from a lot of people. You understand? When you go out there, like Christ went out into the, into the wilderness, and he meditated in the wilderness and on mountains in the desert, you understand, to get away. This way he could purify, you understand, to purify his, his thought centers and to keep that strong alignment, that vertical alignment, you understand, with his father and our father and the father of the house. You understand? So you will find that your stomach center, has many arbitrary ideas. In our stomach centers, there are many arbitrary ideas as to what you should put into it. There's many different ideas. Maybe I should eat this, eat that. And that's another thing that the world does, and we touch on the food and the eating and drinking, so forth and so on. And this is another key connection. It's another key connection now between one and the other, between one and the other that that our stomach center has many arbitrary ideas about as to what to put into it. It may refuse to digest certain things that are good for your general health. Like some people know this is good, but I don't like how it tastes. So you see what's happening with the, the stomach center, right? It may refuse to digest, digest, mawahad, mawahad, the root of tawahido, the, the hymenot, the, the correct or the true faith or the faith of truth, the righteous faith, it may 
or white religion, you can call it. It may refuse to digest certain things that are good for your general health and may cheerfully work on other things that are detrimental. And, and gladly, it will eat all kind of bad foods. So people go into their psychiatrists and doctors, I have a problem, I keep eating a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual problem. You know what I'm saying? No two people agree on what they can digest. Yet there should be and is a divine law of harmony. A divine law, Melukotawi Hud, of harmony in this respect, or Hudbret Manalba, Metabader, as there is in all others. The kingdom, the Mengist, or the Malkut, the Ibrahist, the must be established in good judgment. The kingdom must be established in good judgment. That having been done, the whole system represented by Yehuda. The whole system is represented by Yehuda. Therefore, the whole system is represented by Moa and Bessel, the Imma Negeda Yehuda, or Kedamawi Hala Selassie, in truth, the, the true kingdom of God. You understand? This is why his imperial majesty is very important, is predominant. The whole system is represented by Yehuda or Judah. will contribute now to upbuilding, to building up, exhorting or building up in righteousness and truth, in righteousness and truth, two other key words, and man will have, quote, riches, man will have riches and honor, and honor in abundance.